Official Octavio USB 2.7 is here based on Android version 11 for the Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. A version which includes some interesting things, some Android 12 features, Oxygen OS Dialer which is one of the most awaited thing, which is not actually basically OS Dialer but themed and themed like Oxygen OS and for the users who want Oxygen OS kind of dialer because a lot of users want, can install this build. Of course, if you install the Google Apps build, you might face some other things. For example, you will not see the Oxygen OS dialer there, you will see Google phone. So it's better to use a vanilla build with the Google Apps which I will recommend you in this video so watch this video till the end as i previously mentioned it's based on android version 11 it's not android version 12 yet if if you are asking for it it's android 11 it's sucked up usb 2.7 hold there and you will see this android 11 easter egg but it includes android 12 features which we're going to talk about in this video comes with the latest july 2021 5th of july 2021 security patch so let's just talk about this oxygen os dialer which is already included here which is of course not looking like oxygen os but let's just talk about some features which it includes first of all the in-call ui and these options which are from oxygen os these icons are also from oxygen os dialer pad if you have noticed that and let's just talk about the calling ui if you open this and this is the actual ui which you get here and in video maybe you'll not be able to actually see what it will look like but after using it for some time after installing this build you will see oxygen os kind of feel it has all the same kind of things like oxygen OS. it also has this swipe gesture swipe there for this message swipe to delete some interesting features and this is a very very interesting movie in octavius 2.7 so yes one of the things which you should definitely give it a try on your device if you're looking to install octavio os other things in this style it doesn't include one plus features of course it has all the same issues same things which you get in vanilla based custom rooms dialer or aosp dialer just talking about the default camera it comes with this normal snap camera which you always get in other custom rooms same here anx camera is not included because it's vanilla build it should be included but it's just up to the developer we'll talk about the g cam g cam 8.1 is perfectly working fine the g cam which i'm using here is i just reviewed or three or four days ago if i'm not wrong and you can try out that g cam that g cam is working perfectly fine this is the gcam which i was talking about if i move on to the about section mgc by bsg which is manual google camera and yes it's working quite good as i previously mentioned you features whichever i have tried so far are working quite good no issues nothing at all so yes if you want this gcam you can try out my video and also i will try to provide you the link in the description for this gcam if you want now all these things you get here in octavius are working quite good here till now gcam was also working quite good if we move on to the some other things, for example, and to the Geekbench score. And to the Geekbench score seems to be very good 242647, which is not that bad. Of course, these scores doesn't matter at all, especially for me. It's just my preference. It's not about you. I, I prefer the real performance, what's going on with the device. Sometimes we have the better scores, but performance was not up to the mark. So why and why to use these scores, why to see these scores? But yes, if you want to, 242647 is the to Geekbench score and the best part is cpu throttling test as you can see no cpu thermal throttling detected and yes for your kind information i have checked it for approximately more than five minutes so as you can see on the screen the cpu throttling is actually quite good this is why i just love this build because of the performance on mere 12 devices it's good even though i'm using it on my redmi note 10 pro right now so i'll try to give you the review for that one too so stay tuned for that i'll share with you my experiences i tried a lot of custom rooms there but no one was perfect till now octavio os seems to be and the drm info app of course if you want to check out the l1 support it's very good thing that l1 is supported even though my device is showing as redmi note 9 pro this is the l1 status security level is l1 it's supported of course i've noticed that some users were reporting some bugs because it's a mutual device so maybe if you have any other device you might face other bugs but i'm not sure i've tested it on redmi note 9 pro cortana things which are working perfectly fine i've already shared with you which are not working i'll share with you so watch this video till the end also if you're looking to install banking apps if you use some custom rooms and want to use banking apps safety and status should be passed it is passing without having any issues it should pass even out of the box and i don't think so you require any kind of other things but if you use matches 
you need to hide that in settings and how to hide this magis how to hide the magis from settings it's a very basic thing i think most of you guys already know about that let's just talk about the safety status once again that safety net status is passing and if you want to install the banking apps you might not see any kind of issues here this is how you can enable the magic guide option from settings reboot your device and safety net status should be passed along with that play protect will also be certified so there might be no issues this was the google apps which i was talking about if you want to use that oxynos dialer and don't want to explore the google dialer just use this magic google apps core version i have a video link everything in the description if i haven't given given you make sure to comment below i will definitely provide you now moving on to some little bit of extra things are in octavi os settings this things are basically same here we have the multiple users option let's just see that if they already fixed that thing which was more than seven characters name that was showing very weird issues let's just talk about this go and restart settings app yes it was fixed so no issues here also that's a very good thing you can write the name up to five to seven characters maybe if i'm not wrong maybe six but it's good now also if you move on to the battery section in octavio settings you will see oxygen os style battery ui yes that's good so i think they're a fan of oxygen os of course everyone loves oxygen os especially me too but i simply don't use oxygen os builds because of some issues which i will not be able to mention here the quick settings panel of course same you can also choose the tint color to android 12 or oxygen os style or me os style and a lot more things which you can customize in settings a lot of options are already available for you in the terms of battery section one of the best thing i liked about this build is it's more than 10 hours when my screen was off it was on 9 hour 30 minute for deep sleep and only one percent battery drainage even though it didn't it was at 83 percent last night and when i woke up it was still at 83 it's unbelievable it's quite good in the terms of battery backup it's insane but in the terms of other things performance etc it's good too so yes one of the most try customers out there especially for a mere tool device you should definitely give it a try thanks to this developer it's just one of the perfect builds out there a lot of other builds are also available but in the terms of other extra things octavius is far more better also what they've added so far is this some volume related settings for example the volume panel style if you want oxygen OS style volume panel you have if you want android 12 style you have this is the oxygen OS style volume panel as i previously mentioned you oxygen OS goodies are already included in this build and this is the volume panel which you get here this volume panel looks better if you compare it to with the android 12 but yes android 12 style volume panel is also available for you if you want android 12 style volume panel it's present they can add android 12 style brightness slider also but let's wait for it we have android 12 only panel already available includes other options for example the project 404 this one also looks good some customers have already added this one i tested that was working perfectly fine and other options available for you in the volume panel customizations and the terms of other customizations for example octavi lab where you can customize the quick settings, status bar, notifications, gestures and the same things which you can customize in previous builds also there might not be extra major changes the changes which already included I've already shown you and the gaming mode section etc everything is available for you if you move on to the gaming mode let's just talk about the gaming mode here you have some things heads up notifications disable automatic brightness ringer in gaming mode and dynamic mode all these options are available for you i haven't tried out gaming by the way much but yes you can give it a try if you want to these are the things you get in gaming mode and octavius lab customizations and etc let's just talk about some bit of bugs which i got here first bug is the ambient display whenever i click on this option ambient display in settings i'm seeing force close settings will force stop let's just go once again and open this notification ambient display it will show the settings keep stopping pop up so don't use this it might work from the notification panel but from settings it's not working at all so this was the first bug which i just wanted to discuss about another bug which we got here which was available in the previous build also i was not able to show you you can simply write you can simply draw the pattern and you will not be able to move forward let's just talk about how to do that simply move on back pattern here if you write uh, if i try to add any the other pattern if i choose this go here then you will not see the next button how to do this you'll see there's no options available you simply need to do is swipe up from here and you're good to go this was all from today's video this was all thanks for watching 
Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. 